So you refinanced your 30 year mortgage into a 15 year mortgage and now you wanna use Velocity Banking to pay it off even faster. Well, let's see how quick we can get it done in today's training. Hey everyone, it's Mike Adams. And on this channel, we empower individuals to achieve freedom through improved financial literacy. If you're new to the channel, make sure to click subscribe and click the bell so that way you get notified on any and all of our future training. So in this video, we're gonna be discussing how fast can you pay off your 15 year mortgage uh, using the Velocity Banking strategy. And, and again, this is whether uh, if you just straight up started with a 15 year mortgage, okay? Um, or if you were in a 30 year and now you're gonna, let's say, cause again, that's very popular right now. You know, every bank out there is trying to get everybody to refinance. And again, pay attention to that guys. You know, when you see the bank saying, hey, we wanna give you money understand that banks are in business to make money and they make money by lending money and charging people interest and the federal reserve is making it very very cheap you know they've knocked uh, they're talking about negative interest rates now uh, but that's going to keep money borrowing cheap you know that they want to keep those rates nice and low so people will keep borrowing keep borrowing keep borrowing and the banks are really trying to get your equity right they want to be able to control your equity you know if the market's going to crash the value of the dollar goes down whatever if the banks are actually controlling the equity guess what you're still on the hook and you still owe money with interest and if anything they could foreclose and take back your property kind of like what we saw in 08 but let's say you did a refinance but you did it into a 15 year okay so you didn't just reset the clock on yourself uh, a lot of folks when they refinance they go from a 30 year they pay it down five years and they go back into 30 more years and you're just totally resetting the clock on yourself and you're eating uh, the heaviest portion of, of loan interest on the front end of that loan. So you just eat that over and over and over. And it's creating a scenario where we have millions of individuals moving into retirement with a mortgage, okay, versus having that thing paid off. So we wanna use Velocity Bank. We wanna get this mortgage paid off. So how quickly can we do it on a 15 year mortgage so let's say we went the refinance route you refinance into a 15-year mortgage and the average homeowner is going to refinance after about five years in the property so going down to month 60 using our trusty loan amortization calculator okay which you can download at thinklikewealthy.com slash calculator or slash calculator uh, but either way after five years okay we have a balance here of 180 895 that would go into the new loan you're creating a new loan so there's going to be new loan origination fees there junk fees title fees all kinds of stuff appraisal fees all kinds of stuff going on that you're either going to pay out of pocket or uh, get rolled into the new loan okay so looking at this 180,894 so 180,894 Okay, and the fees usually are between two and four percent so we'll call it three percent just to stay right there in the middle okay and I think we're going to end up Okay, so 5400 roughly $5,400, so $5,426 in fees, okay? So we're gonna take that number and add that, okay, to the 180,895.03, because again, if we're doing a refinance, there's gonna be some fees there. So let's add our 3% closing cost just to make it uh, as square as we can, and that would change this number to this number, okay? So 186.32188. One eight six three two one point eight eight. 881 okay so this uh you know so if you're going from the 30 after five years into the 15 this is you know and again you know with going to the 15 chances are we're going to be able to get a little bit of a better interest rate so what we're going to do is we're going from the four percent interest rate that we had on the original loan okay um, now that you're going to a 15, you're going down to 3.5%. And again, it's going to take good credit, okay? And, and, and in this current economy, you need some good credit and some good cash flow and some good income uh, to qualify for a 15-year mortgage. So let's say you have all that in place. We're able to qualify for this new loan. And again, we're going to pay it off in 15 years here, okay? And so our payments are now 1331 okay, compared to the um $954 that they were okay and so and again by making just that maneuver you know we're looking to save some big time money here in interest you know if we stuck and stayed with the same loan and kept making monthly payments you're paying 143.7 you know at year five you've paid 38.1 okay 38.184 uh of this Right, so you pay, you shelled out almost 40 grand of that uh, within the first five years. So you paid this, so 38,184, okay? So 38,184, okay? 
and then we'll add that to the new loan number here, 54434, or 53434. Let me look to that again. 53434 plus 53434. Was that 0.99? Yep. 0.99 equals. So, by doing this, you know, which is really, really cool, you know, we're able to go from uh, 143.7 in total interest on your mortgage, 143.739, all the way down to 91.618. Okay, so then that's a savings of, you know, over $50,000. Okay, so over $52,000. Okay, but can we save a little bit more, right? Uh, can we save a little bit more money in interest? So again, just making that move does save you money and interest and you stick to those payments, pay it off in 15 years, you will realize that savings and that's pretty juicy. But can we pay this off a little bit faster? You know, Can we use some of the additional techniques that you've learned about on this channel in order to pay this new 15 year loan off faster? And so this is where we bring in Velocity Banking. This is where we bring in a line of credit and start doing what's called chunking. And if you're not familiar with chunking, I'll put a link below this video. I did a, a training about chunking a while back and you can take a look at that and learn more about what chunking is. But the process of Velocity Banking um, in a nutshell, and again, if you haven't seen the main overview, definitely check that out. I'll put that link below as well. Uh, but the point is we want to maximize our cash flow. Uh, what the bank wants is the bank wants to segregate all of your money. They want your money going to this bill, this bill, this bill, this bill, this bill, minimum payments. They want money in your savings account, checking account, uh, money market accounts, whatever they got going on. They want to segregate all of your money. Okay. And what we know on this channel is if you can pool all your money together, that's when you can get all of your money working for you. Okay. So with Velocity Banking, what we're doing is instead of using a bank checking account, we are using a line of credit whether that is a HELOC or a credit card or a personal line of credit, we're using one of those lines of credit as our new checking account. We are going to pay all of our bills using that line of credit. And then all of our income is going to go into that line every single month. And so you have to have positive cash flow, obviously, to do this strategy. But if you do, as long as you're bringing home more than you are spending, um, all of your money be working you for you for maximum principal reduction. And the debt on that line will go down by your positive cash flow number minus any interest that's being charged by the line. But if somebody was in position to do this today, Okay, that means you probably have good credit. That means you probably are in a position where you do, obviously you do have positive cash flow, otherwise you wouldn't qualify for a 15 year loan, right? So you do have positive cash flow, you do have employment, I mean, all these things are going on and you have the credit uh, to go ahead and get this um, slightly reduced interest rate down to 3.5. So with all that being said, this person probably has a credit card in their wallet. So what we're gonna use here is a $15,000 line of credit. And again, there's other videos on the channel where we talk about different credit cards and different lines of credit that you can get. And what we really want are the lines with really good either A, introductory rates, or B, 0% interest offers. And there's a ton of uh, really great credit cards out there that again, if you have credit to support this kind of a loan, Okay, chances are you may be able to qualify for a line of credit that you could then use to do this strategy of chunking, okay? So let's assume that we had a $15,000 line of credit that was gonna give us 0% interest for 24 months, okay? And so we have that, and your monthly bills are about $3,000, okay? And you have about $5,000 worth of income coming home every single month, so we got about $2,000 in cash flow, okay? And so let's say you've done this refinance and you have this line of credit in tow, okay? And right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and make a chunk. Again, your monthly expenses are about three grand. So we gotta leave some room on the line of credit. We can't just do a $15,000 chunk because there'll be no room on there for you to pay your monthly expenses, okay? So let's go ahead and make a $12,000 chunk, okay? And so right off Jump Street, you got your new uh, 15 year, and right off the bat, you're gonna do a $12,000 chunk. Okay, and what we've already seen just instantly is almost an $8,000 reduction uh, in interest. Okay, we've instantly seen a 14 month reduction um, in the payoff of the loan, right? Now we have to sweep down this line of credit by sending all of your income to the line, paying all of your expenses to the line, and every month it'll go down by your positive cash flow number minus any interest that's being charged by the line. Okay, and in, and in our example, we're using a 0% interest line that gave us 24 months. So with our $2,000 cash flow number, it's gonna take six months. So one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? And now the line of credit has been paid down to zero, 
okay? Giving us the opportunity to make another chunk. And by doing that second chunk, we've now saved an additional $7,000 roughly worth of interest, okay? And we've knocked several, another year off of that 15 year mortgage. Okay, so let's do another six months here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so the balance on that line going down by our $2,000 cash flow number every month, um, that line will be paid off and be available for use again after six months so we can make another chunk. Okay, so boom. And that brings us from 38 in interest down to 33. So we're starting to save some serious money here in interest. Um, let's make another six months. Four, five, six. And then we can do one more final chunk on this line of credit. And, and this is why we have that 24 months at 0% interest. And there are offers out there. If you uh, you need to do the due diligence, do your research, make sure your credit is in on point. But again, if you were able to qualify for a 15 year mortgage in this day and age, uh, right here, right now, chances are your credit is in order. And if you know about this strategy, you can do the proper planning to have this line of credit ready, uh, ready to go. Or even have one of your own lines of credit that you already have. Um, you've already had that thing paid down for a long time and you can request a uh, 0% interest. And if you have the credit to support it, there's a very good chance that the bank will give it to you. Otherwise you can find a different bank that will, but let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And so now here we are. Okay. We're two years in now on this 15 year mortgage. We've been able to make uh, four chunks and we've already reduced the amount of interest that you're going to pay on this loan. Um, all the way down uh, to $28,662, okay? Since we are able to get 0% interest on that line, um, we've just realized a huge, huge, huge savings. Let me go boom, 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 boom. Because we were gonna pay 53.4, now after making a couple of chunk payments, again, now we're, uh, we've saved $25,000 uh, worth of straight up interest that would normally just go to the bank. Okay, and let's go out six months, one, two, three, four, five, six, because we want to keep chunking. And at this point, your credit card's like, okay, now we have to charge you interest. And, you know, what I teach folks to do is before you just reuse that line, you know, when we're getting it down, let's say three months ago, about right here, okay, we're going to start thinking about, okay, is this line of credit, are they willing to give me more time at zero interest? Or do I need to, and that'd be where you renegotiate, um, or do you need to look elsewhere? Right? It's been a couple of years now. You've been paying down this mortgage really, really well. Your cash flow is maintained. So in this scenario, your credit's going to be pretty darn good. You may be able to shop around and get a new line of credit. Because the goal here is to get 0% interest on our lines or uh, as low to zero as possible. So that way we can realize this maximum savings. But again, still, you know, even if we had a little bit of interest on this line of credit, Again, it, uh, it's gonna pale in comparison compared to the 25 grand we've already saved in interest, okay? But let's say we were able to, again, we got this great credit, let's renegotiate or reapply somewhere else for another zero interest line so we can keep this going, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. And we can make that fifth chunk, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And just look at this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five. Oh, we're done. So let's see, we did this chunk here. Guys, look at this. So yeah, boom. And then we sweep it down. So we, you know, the mortgage itself uh, will be paid off in 63 months. Okay, but we still have a little bit on the line of credit. So you'd still have one, two, three, four. Uh, you'd still have two more months. Okay, boom, boom. To sweep down the 12 grand from the line of credit. Okay. But um, we were able to pay this thing off in 63, 63 months. It only took 63 payments on top of making these 10 chunks. Okay, so it took us 10 chunks 
um, in order to do this. So leveraging a line of credit and using, uh, when you add velocity banking uh, to the mix, okay, if you're looking at the 15 year or refine, you, maybe you just refinance into a 15 year to save money on interest, pay it off sooner. If you add velocity banking or add the velocity banking concept to your life uh, around maximizing your cash flow using a line of credit instead of a checking account, and then again, making those chunk payments. And once you've made that chunk, all your expenses get paid by the line. So you made the chunk, all your income goes into the line, knocking down the balance. All of your expenses are paid by the line, bringing it up, but then all your income hits it. And as long as you maintain your positive cash flow, which we did here over these five years, the debt on the line of credit will down by your cash flow number minus any interest that the line is actually charging you. And in this example, we used a 0% interest line that we're able to use. And um, now, and you might be thinking, well, what kind of line of credit, Mike, is gonna give you 0% interest for that long? Well. Chances are not one line of credit is gonna give you, you know, five straight years as 0% interest, but there's plenty of cards out there if you have good credit that'll give you 18 to 24 months, okay? And once that time runs out, either again, renegotiate or reapply somewhere else with your good credit to get 0% interest somewhere else. And I'll tell you, you know, and I've done this, where if you have one card that you've used for a couple of years at 0% interest and you stop using them and you move to a different card that's giving you 0%, Chances are these guys are probably gonna send you an offer uh, saying, hey, you know, come park it back over here again. Uh, we'll give you 0% so you can play that game a little bit with the banks. Um, but the bottom line is what we see is um, even with this newly refinanced loan, you know, you can make those payments straight up and pay it off in 15 years and save a ton of money versus the 30 year. But if you add velocity banking on top of your 15 year mortgage, you will save big time, okay? So hopefully you guys found value in this training and in this breakdown. If you did, make sure to give it a like, give it a comment below, and I will see you in the next video.